Pull the trigger. Time to get some. Time to get some goddamn MMR. I, I I feel like it's just rap with people not taking it seriously, which is good. In like three or four episodes, we've gone up five MMR. <laughs> We're the top forty-seven percent. Let's go. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Feeling pretty good about this whole thing. If you if you ask me. I have got some horrendous stories for when we actually get into game. By the way, it's it's miserable. I I I I need to wait to to tell you. I hope you're prepared to hear them because they are they're truly damaging. I don't know, bro. I swear. Okay, you know what? I'm taking this because nobody ever takes this, and he is so damn good for like taking the wind out of everyone's sails. And Holy moly. Yeah, you can take- And you know what? You're giving up like brand and stuff as well, man! Like, oh, I hate all of you. I sincerely hate all of you. But no, you know what? It's fine. Nah, I don't know. This one, I don't know about that one. I could be British Brom. You know what? I'm gonna reroll and then I'm gonna do that. Just in case anybody wants- I, I don't know why I rerolled with like four seconds to spare. I, I, people keep getting like actually angry at me in the comment section because I'm not rerolling. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm new. Please leave me. I'm sorry. I don't play ARAM like that much. I don't know how often. I don't know. He's like, I hate it how Ross doesn't, even though he gets it like one every game. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm sorry. I have no idea how often I get my reroll refunded, man. I'm sorry. I got no idea. Oh my god. I went. I, I spent all that time trying to pick a damn skin and it went for the default skin. I have no idea how that happened. I don't mean to like pull the curtain back on this entire series because the entire basis of it is me trying to like get high you on ARAM, right? But like, here's the scoop, right? Here's the thing. None of this matters. <laughs> I'm just like playing this game and playing this game mode because first of all, it's fun and it's better than a black screen with me talking, you know? So like, realistically, like, I'm here, I'm just, I'm just, the video, these are just a vehicle for, for the, the, the train of thought, you know? Choo-choo. So when people give me like, ah, uh, Real criticism on ARAM. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, because like that's just, this is gonna come off like maybe not uh, the way that I would wish it to be. But all I'm saying is like, I have I've I've been down this alley a very large amount of times, and more often than not, not only am I like marginally better than the people that tend to leave those comments, but like also I'm like I'm like extremely better at the game than they are, and I'm like, all right. You have this niche piece of information that I have not asked. Like, listen, you don't have, you don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes, my friend. You don't know how deep the, the rabbit hole goes. I I have I have forgotten more information about League of Legends than you could ever hope to possibly accumulate. So anyway, welcome back to the ARAMs. Um, hold on, sorry, things aren't going very well. <laughs> yeah, this is just going real bad, man. This is going real bad. Um, so I'm, I'm back, I guess. It's been a couple of days. I, you know what? I, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it on that snowball bozo, okay? Listen, shut up, man. I don't want to hear it, man. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've been away for a few days. I was at a convention, uh, called Annie Manga Pop in Glasgow. I, and essentially, I was, uh, I was a guest for some reason. I have no idea why. But, uh, I mean, I, you know, there's not all tremendous. I would tell you what, Glasgow isn't sporting a tremendous amount of, like, uh, a back catalogue of stars that are willing to show up to a uh, uh, Premier Inn uh, at an airport and uh, speak for 40 minutes. So, for free. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that was how it was. But we, we, were, we sold uh, some psycho stuff there. Met some cool people. Um, had I also forged some horrible, horrible stories down the line. Which is always great. We do love we do love ourselves a, a horrible story. You know what? It was okay. It was like three rooms. That was pretty much, and and that goes a long way in describing the convention. It was like a cup, like yeah, three rooms in a corridor is what it was really. Um, maybe four rooms if you count. Actually, you know what? I'll give it. I'll give it credit. It was four four rooms, not particularly large rooms. It was like you know. But, um, yeah, so here's the thing. That was, it was my first anime convention as a vendor. Um, and by that, I mean, like, Psycho Apparel. I just don't want to talk about the, how, how often I'm missing these. 
it was the first time that we had ever like uh, sold stuff at an convention. Now that's not to say that like it was our first time like selling stuff because we, we, you know what, we've been to cons and hold on, bing bang bong, send it. Am I tanking this? I'm not tanking this right now. Okay, he jumped on me, and I feel like that's like excellente. Hold on, we're gonna deal with this problem here. All right, I'm just gonna knock him out. How's that? Uh, we 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 went to a, a gothic alternative market as their first time, and you know what? That was incredible, dude. I'm I'm gonna say is that goths like abs they love the tarot stuff, and I I'm here for it. And then the other one that I went to was a hype beast convention called like Crep City, and I, I think I've said this before, but you ever like have a conversation with somebody and then you realize like holy crap, like we we act. Have you ever sp spoken to somebody and realized that there may not be a common thing that you have? In, on earth with this person beyond this, the fact that you share the same species as him. You're like, oh my god, I don't think that, I think if somebody put a gun to my head and forced me to have a conversation with you, like, I still don't think I could do it. <laughs> and I, let me be clear, that's nothing against them. It's just that, like, you know, we're, we're you know, you're, you're from totally different worlds as far, like, I couldn't conceive uh, of spending so much money on shoes and, and, caring that much about like design like super duper designer brands and like the status symbol symbolism that comes with them wearing them and i see status symbol the perceived status symbol because nobody cares right like i saw a guy wearing like who who was hover who hovered around my locals a lot at my card game store he would hover around he would never play cards and we were all but he would always have like a designer bag of like I don't know if it was empty. It presumably had nothing in it, if, as far as I could gauge. At this point, who actually knows? Um, but regardless, he would he would just like stand there, and then he was at this like hype beast convention, and what ended up happening was Maisie was he, he approached Maisie, and I don't think he like recognized her from locals or whatever. But like, hold on, we're gonna have to time this. Okay, I did not time that, and I missed it all. You know what? I'm I'm not happy about myself. That being said, it is late and I haven't slept, so I'm gonna go give myself. I'm not gonna beat myself up too hard about this one. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know what, man? I'm just missing every single ability in the game because I'm in a, a stream of consciousness and I hate it. I'm. I'm. Don't worry. Listen, I'm as angry as you are. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Um. But yeah, he was. So long story short. So oh my god. Long story short. Um. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. He was wearing a pair of Crocs, and Maisie looked them up, and they were like nine hundred pound Crocs, like one thousand one hundred dollar Crocs or something. They're like a, a a collaboration with like Balenciaga or something like that. And I I I just I simply could not conceive of such a thing. Like I I it, it honestly like stun locked me for a moment, like realistically thinking like holy crap. And listen, if you have like if you have let me be honestly clear here. If you have the money to spend on that, I'm not saying there's not better stuff you could be spending on, but if that's how you wish to spend your disposable income, then I have nothing against it. I feel like maybe, like, I, I have had some friends who, like, spend a lot of money on, like, shoes and are kind of maybe in the hype beast, hype beast adjacent, one could argue, uh, but they have never been wealthy people. Like, they are just, like, uh, they, you know, they, they don't necessarily have the money to be spending on this and I think sometimes it can be like kind of dangerous when you're chasing the, the clout I don't know what you're chasing in this situation but I, I think it can be uh it's like addictive right it's like collecting Pokemon cards right <laughs> oh this guy's ooh, okay oh well somebody oh well somebody has 400 noop champ okay somebody has high ping I'm gonna need somebody to pull up here Skirt reverse and then hold on. Oh my ADC is zero and five. There, that that makes sense. Are we winning the A Rams? I don't know. There are nine hundred pound crocs. There uh, there was because like Maisie showed me them. I couldn't believe it. But like it's some kind of collaboration with Balenciaga. I'm sure you can look it up, man. And maybe it's more. Maybe it's like I can't quite. Oh my god. Oh dear lord in heaven, I'm never gonna get another move like that in my life. Holy crap. That's it. It's all downhill from here. It is literally all downhill from here. All I'm seeing is here, man, we can do this. 
Like, we don't have to... Do... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm glad that we agree. You see what I'm saying? He died, he took a while to die there, but he did die, and that's all that matters. Awesome. Yeah, the skill shots, I'll admit, have not been great. Sorry, but anyway, that was like a four-minute tangent about hype beasts. I'm not going to lie to you. And it's supposed to be about uh, this convention. Oh, crap. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm just going to walk away. I'm glad that nobody actually pressured me on that. But, um, yeah, this was an anime convention. Uh, but... <laughs> Like, it was a, a far, an, an infinitely younger audience than I expected it to be. Um, if that makes, like, any form of sense whatsoever. There was, uh, the, the panel I did was with a person called Ava. And they are, like, they're, like, humongous on, on TikTok. Like, actually humongous. Like, 4.6 million followers on that. Like, over 600,000 on, like, Instagram and, like, stuff like that. So, like, she was she was actually, like, genuinely, like, pulling power to the, the convention. And that was, like, A-OK. -okay. But it also meant that, like, the people that, like, maybe came to the convention were also, like, maybe, like, the people, I don't know, the people that would, like, watch TikToks and stuff. Which would considerably be, maybe you could argue slightly younger than your average bear. I'm not really sure. Hold on, I'm going to try and cyber bully this man right now. Please, 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 please. We are on top of him. He is stunned. Okay. We got rid of him at least. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I actually tangented off the tangent. It was insane. Um, yeah, so they were, they were kind of young, right? But anyway, we did our panel and like, I am going to be, I'm going to honestly stay awake at this for, for a long time. I was very much of the, and I, asked, I am that way about panels anyway. I'm like, I don't really care like what. I don't really care. Nobody, let's be honest, like 90% of people that go to like panels don't really actually listen all that much to like what's being said. And as, I, I, and as Eddie Izzard once said, it's 70% it's what you say, 20% uh, how you sound, and 10% how you look. No, I think it's, no, it's 70% how you look. No, it's 70% it's how you look, 20% how you sound, and 10% what you say. Sorry. So I'm just like, whatever, chat, chat, chat. But anyway, I, uh, I realized that this, when I was about to go on stage, and I say stage, it was like a elevated floor. I wouldn't really wager that you could call it a stage. As I was waiting to go on, on the stage, I was standing next to the sound guy, and I, I turned to him as a joke, and I said, can you cue Thunderstruck by ACDC for when I go out on, like, when I go up there? And he was like, yeah, sure. So, like, four seconds later, I'm running down the aisle, like, like this, whilst... The, the thunderstruck is playing and then like halfway down the aisle i'm like holy crap this is a bad idea <laughs> oh my god i was like holy crap this is going down so badly with this audience none of them care at all oh dear lord i <laughs> and i was going down the aisle that nah, 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 like running down and um, there was not a single reaction from anybody in, in, in the audience at all. Macy, had, Macy was in the audience. She had no idea that I was going to do that. Um, my like One of the editors, Cami, was there and he was like, you nailed it, man. But I was also like, yeah, I don't know if you're, you're really speaking for the crowd here. It's, it was one of those moments where I was like, holy crap, I came on stage to Thunderstruck. Oh my god, it was so bad, dude. I was going for like a Kevin from The Office thing, um, where he comes out to Crazy Train, except like, self-aware and funny, but I, I'm kind of like, oh my god, man, I don't think, there, there's a very solid possibility that a lot of the kids in this room have never heard this song before. I almost definitely, if they have, it was because, like, their lame dad, like, listened to, like, uh, like, ACDC or whatever, sorry. And that, that can't, that already doesn't bode well for the street cred in this room. That already is not, like, uh, it's not doing numbers here, you know? The wor the, truly the worst reaction is no reaction. That being said, what did I actually expect of these kids to do? Like, did I expect them to be like, THUNDER! Na 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 na! THUNDER! Or like, start like, going crazy, going, like, starting to do backflips in the stands, man? Like, it's just simply not gonna happen, is it? 
Uh, and it, it's absurd of me to expect anything anything less. Oh, he just died. Never mind. I thought he was. I thought he disappeared somewhere. I mean, it would have been nice <laughs> if they were banging their, you know, banging their their feet or whatever to Thunderstruck, but nevertheless, I would honestly, I blame the sound guy because man, he got Thunderstruck queued up so damn fast. I didn't even have time to think, man. <laughs> And I just said, I said it as a joke, and then, like, literally it was playing, man. It was so fast. On internet, on, like, hotel Wi-Fi as well, that is insane. Like, it's almost like he was ready for me to see it, man. I know that I should, like, probably not blame, like, the tech people for anything, because it's not their fault, but like, it is their fault. I blame them. <laughs> I very much blame them for that, man. They were so quick with it. They were so quick. They had no, they had no hesitation. <laughs> And throwing me under the bus immediately. Um, you know what? Pick up that. Let's pick up. Uh, I'm like, what do I care about here? We got one of eighty. I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, I'm I'm doing fine here. I don't feel like my. I don't know. You know? Does that make sense? I don't know if you know. That was. I I could have absolutely maybe done with a better team there, but it is what it is. They weren't really putting down the numbers. It took him two seconds. He did it on YouTube. He put he put on the video, man. I you know what? Like it, it, it I know she DC'd, but like I, I I as a Brom should not be doing as more damage than Caitlyn, and almost as much damage as Sever. That to me does not spark joy. It means it says to me, you dumbasses really need to think about what you're picking. I know it's Aram. You guys took took those champs, bozos. That's a yikes. That's a yowza. That's a that's a cringe. That's a mmm. Yeah, I don't know how you DC so much during the game and still die nine times. You know? Insane. I'm genuinely surprised he didn't say maybe not, mate. If I was like a, a a sound engineer or somebody that worked at a venue, and like the talent asked me any opinion on anything, I would probably be inclined to just say yeah, sure. For instance. Do you think I should try and do a backflip? I 100% think you should try and do a backflip. As long as I am not like legally liable for you attempting to do the backflip, I think you should try and do a backflip. If I'm asked that question, the answer is always going to be what I want to see in the world. And it would be, and I, and I wish to see you attempt to do a backflip. Now, we have like so much damn AP damage, man. It's insane. I feel like I need to bring some, like, some some Callista into the world. Also, I feel like this is just gonna be really funny to attempt to play because like it's Callista and it's me. We'll see what happens, shall we? I'll let her ride. If I was a sound engineer, I would start a little bit of drama. You know? You know what I mean? Something really dangerous? Sure, go for it, man. I don't care about you. <laughs> and like, so here's the thing as well, right? The panel was like on like YouTube and like starting in YouTube and like doing YouTube and like stuff like that. So obviously they were asking like, I mean, I'll be honest, there was maybe like one or two people in that room that knew who what League of Legends was and I was one of them. Um, the questions were like really weird, man. Some of them, and, and you know what? It's not like anybody's fault, man. Like it's really not. It was like, oh, hey, but I saw you moved into a new apartment last week. She would answer. But like, one of the questions, like, what advice do you have for somebody, like, starting out? And, like, the, the other person I was doing the panel with, like, did an answer. Like, I know it sounds cliche, but just, like, try and make what you enjoy doing. And I, and I was, like, I, I have, like, a ta tried and tested, like, formula for, like, the the sentence, like, the, the advice that I give. And, and I think it's good advice. Because I say it every single panel where somebody asks me that question and I've got it like wired up and my advice is to fail And I think that like failing is the best advice I could possibly give to somebody who's starting out YouTube because it is super important to do And by fail, I mean be bad at something because the only way you can get good at something is to fail a hundred times, right? Like it's like the journey of a, of a hundred miles begins or a thousand miles begins with a, a single step or what have you, right? Like you have to be bad because if you're not bad, you won't get good. So I'm like, make mistakes, like make bad videos, like 
post them anyway like it doesn't matter because like you want to make sure that like by the time that you are making good videos like that like by the time people are actually watching you you're already making good videos instead of doing like what i did and just like kind of trying to branch out into like gameplay and trying to branch out into other things when i already had an audience and it being like the most awkward transition like of all time because i'm truly like not uh, sure how, where what direction I think my content is going. Hold on, I forgot to black spear somebody and like I actually don't think there is a good answer to this question as to who I should do it to. You know what man, maybe I should just give it to like, oh never mind, I was gonna troll him there a little bit. Yeah, we need to put what, one level in Q because the damage output is insane. The damage on this like quadruples if I just put one extra point into it and then put no more points into it from there. You know what, I'm just gonna really help if you miss but so that is what it is. I don't really like know what's happening here, but like I'm gonna take it. I seem to be doing what what one could argue is bits here. Well, I'm um, listen. You get now, bro. Like I'm talking about things that you can make a difference in, right? I'm thinking talking about things you can chase. Sorry, I'm gonna troll you here. Oh man, I'm gonna troll him so damn hard. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> He's gonna wait. Hold on. Wait. He didn't die. Oh wait. Do you not? Do you not like? Oh, he fell down. Okay, there he goes. Go, Master Yi, go! Mm, I keep on rending them when they're like, just almost dead. Okay, we take that. I'm talking about things that you have control over. You you feel like a bronze for four years is like, there's like a there's like a hundred people, maybe more, that stand between you and that goal. There is a lot of people lined up on the trolley problem here, right? If you think like it takes on average like a hundred like games Let's say it takes a hundred games to get out of bronze from where you are That alone is like What? 900 people? Or something that are standing in your way? That you're, you have a lot of people to, uh, to get through Both not really, arguably trying to help you win, but not necessarily, you know? So that's tough. Whereas, like, making YouTube videos and making, doing streams and what have you is totally different, you know? That is something you can control. You can stop being bad at making videos. I would guess, maybe. I, I, I'll, I'll let you know if that ever happens to me, but, uh, you know, I hope, I hope it does one day, you know? I would also give the advice, never stop talking, but, like, I honestly, like, don't really know if that is good advice for, like, that particular room. I have no idea. None of, you know, like, they weren't there for me. It's fine. <laughs> I honestly, like, every single th th time I was, like, speaking, I was like, oh my god, man, please just ask the other girl more questions. Because, like, I know, I can feel the entire room, like, rolling in their eyes when I speak. Um... Nobody has any interest in what I have to say Like and, and honestly like even even if I did have advice like this girl is like, okay Maybe on the YouTube side of things. She's like a lot smaller than I am um, But like on every other metric like she is like absolutely stonking it like it's insane dude like oh, <laughs> I'm so dead um, Every other metric she's like completely crushing it man, you know <laughs> like she's uh like literally millions and millions and millions and millions of people watching her um just in followers alone you know um and granted twitch and youtube isn't she hasn't really gotten a, uh, a grasp on that necessarily but like all my advice i'm like ah, dude i don't know and i was really hoping that nobody would ask me any actual like technical advice on the on the subject because i would just be like dude i don't know i don't i don't i don't i i'm like i do everything like so against the book Man, like, everything I do is bad, man. Like, it, everything is, like, Mr. Beast would be like, that's not a good, like, title for a video, dude, you know? Or something. And I'll be like, you know what? Like, I'm inclined to agree somewhat here. You gotta make it pop, baby. You gotta make it pop. I don't make it pop, man. I make nothing on this channel pop. I just talk and then hope, oh, my, my, oh, my mouse is going crazy mode, dude. You already know I fed the poros, man. You know what? I'll do it again. 
You know, like, one thing I didn't put on, like, my ARAM bucket list was me, like, kind of doing well on a game of Callista. <laughs> I'd, I would argue I'm doing well. I would say I'm doing pretty well. We'll, we'll see at the end. We'll see. This gives like, me increased damage, right? Increased Santa Rose for both attack. I mean, when does that shit ever happen? I guess it happens probably more regularly on ARAM, right? But, yeah. Maybe I should throw them out. I always just think that that ability is just like completely pointless, but still. It attacks? I do honestly like. See, when you see attacks, do you mean like it goes and like looks at it? I don't know. What's the range on this thing? I mean, it goes like pretty far. Like, why not, right? I guess they throw out. See what happens. Okay. Looking pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly like. And to be fair, I like I, I the two I only met two people that knew how I was, and both were like really really nice. Uh, I met a guy called Darian, who like was from Germany, and also like his dad. He was like a road trip with his parents. Uh, all up and down the UK, and he seemed to, like, his parents seemed, like, very epic. And this could just be fatherless behavior for myself, but I was like, damn, man. Shit, man, that'd be crazy. Am I, that, having it, like, that's just be, uh, actually enjoying spending time with your father, man? What's, what must that be like? That's insane. <laughs> and then, uh, like, another girl called Cassie, who, and I, uh, like, I, uh, like, <laughs> I, I, I really hope that this isn't, this is a true story, because if it isn't, she said that she was kind of standing outside the room during my Q&A and then heard Thunderstruck and then she said that she walked into the room, she felt a bad aura and then left. <laughs> and I'm like, right, that's pretty good, man. That's, that's, uh, I, I honestly like don't know how to, I, I don't know what to say about that one, man. But they were both like super lovely. Um. And I ended up, like, speaking to both of them, individually, but, like, for, like, I don't know. I, dude, I had nothing to do that day, man, apart from just, like, standing at the stall every so often. So, like, yeah, it was, uh, I was, just, I was talking to Darian for, like, 45 minutes, and I think I was talking to Cassie for, like, probably a considerable amount of time as well. I actually don't know how long it was, though. They were all dressed as, like, Gen oh, not Darian, but the, they were all dressed as, like, Genshin Impact characters. Because, like, Genshin was, like, one of the sponsors at the event. <laughs> And I was just like, wow, everybody looks so cool. I got no idea who any of you are. And I was like, how much do you spend on the game? Like, 150 pounds a month, you know? It, it was like, D it was Darien. It wasn't Darren or, no, it, was, it wasn't, um, his name wasn't Darren. It was Darien. Darien. He was super cool. We were talking to him about, like, Warhammer and crap. And, like, he likes LARPing and stuff. And I was like, that's awesome. Tell me some more. Um, Cammy, my, like, one of my editors, like, said something in German and then I corrected it I corrected him on it in front of a German guy and I was like I feel so based right now dude like this is awesome I love it I love it I love it because he, he thought Alf was uh oh what the hell? he thought Alf was like up and I was like it means on you moron <laughs> it was an E yeah and then I was like, yeah, I, I literally don't remember, like, a single iota of, like, German. As, or as much as I'd want to. I know as much in, in, like, if I was in a car accident in Germany, I could say, like, Hilfe bitte! Hilfe! To, like, a, 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 a random civilian or, like, a passerby. <laughs> and get immediate medical attention. But beyond that, like, I'm pretty dim. Did you know it's the real one? Because he's got, like, a billion axes in him. You know what? Speaking of, right? You know what I forgot? I forgot that I have, like, an ultimate, dude. That's insane. Oh, my god. That's more German than I know. Well, now, now you know it. If you're ever in an accident and you have two words, just go, Hilfe bitte! Makes me sad, man. Because, like, finally, finally, I'm in a situation where... I have a German person in front of me, right? A straight up bona fide German person. And I'm like, I could practice here. And I'm like, my brain just goes, 
And and then to 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 my brain's credit, it had been up for like thirty something hours at this point, so it was like, nah, I'm good. But I just I just couldn't do it, man. I still can't tell what Ross is saying in German. Hilfe, which means help, and bitte, which is like please. It's pretty easy, man. Kind of like uh, the like the first thing you learn, you know. Holy crap. I really got a rend earlier, man, but like. <sighs> oh, Nelly. Interesting. I'm, I'm, I gotta be honest with you, and this is like, I'm crushing it on the, on the, the Kalisa aspect here, dude. I don't know. He said, as he died. Um, I don't know why I'm hitting the the cone as if I'm like stacking something. I think I do. I I, I do get like lethal tempo procs off of attacking with on cone. I'm not like insane for thinking that, right? But you still do. You know what? You're true. Yeah, that is works. Because I knew there was some reason why I was attacking the cone, but I couldn't remember what it was. I was like, I'm stacking something. You know what? I'm stacking Ginsu's as well. I'm stacking like Lethal Tempo. I'm stacking Ginsu's. I'm life stealing. You know what? Like now that I think about it, it's all good sauce, man. It's just all good sauce. Oh, you go, son. Man, he sure is far away, huh? Wow, those two sure do go a little bit faster than Kalista, huh? The monkey wants me. That is a really great out of context sense to say. I understand that there is contact context, I just choose to ignore it. <laughs> Holy crap, that actually hit me. What the heck? Holy crap. Oh, I got both of them? Let's go. I'm such a team player, it's insane, man. Like, honestly, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, oh, <laughs> like, uh, flashing to make sure the, the brand ulti doesn't bounce onto anybody, man. Oh, man, you're so swag. Okay, well, you know what? We, we absolutely got trounced in the first game. But then, I, I, I would like, I'd like to say, I think we did some trouncing in the second game. We did, we did pretty well. That's a pretty good start. And we tension it the whole time, baby. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Time will only tell what it's done to our MMR, though. Time will only tell. You know what? I'll give it to Master Yi. Because I maybe tried to do a little bit of trolling on him at the early, in the early part of the, the, the game. An S plus on this champion. They thought it wasn't possible. Just look at the insane damage. Holy crap. Holy crap, he's a goddamn gamer. Oh.